Wednesday the 12th um, of August 2020 is a great faith day. 12 is the number of faith, just like 11. They both share E-L-V-E, -E, which equals faith. And I've been getting threes from the Lord beginning on August 3rd, then the 6th and the 9th. And so I'm expecting more of that today for the 12th. Um, particularly words related to Hawaii, which is three syllables that all divide by three, and there's much love in Hawaii. Um, three is the number of love, and I could go on with all this stuff. But um, this is so cool. I'm so happy, by the way, that this video camera records every video and titles it based on timestamp. You'll notice that all the videos that come off of this camera and are, God willing, getting on YouTube, um, are just a string of numbers, and it's the year, followed by the month, followed by the day, followed by the time, okay, in 24-hour um, structure, okay? So, like, 13, whatever, 14, 22 is 1 p.m., 14 minutes after, 22 seconds. And what I love about that is that every timestamp in this universe references God, as in Jesus, who is God in the flesh, okay? So... I love that. So, and that is why dates are so important. And that is why numbers are so important that you know what numbers mean and that you know what numbers say to you when you see them. And then you combine sets of numbers together and it makes this incredible flavor of what the day is going to have fragrances of. Just like a perf uh, someone who is a, um, a specialist in perfumery, you know, they mix different... Um, essential oils in order to create this incredible bouquet that is mind-blowing. Um, same thing, obviously, with a chef, okay? They are masters at and a painter, okay? All these ingredients. Well, same thing with uh, a numbers expert, okay? So, Demetria. So, I look at today's date. It's 8.43 a.m. Wednesday, the 12th of August, 12.08, 2020, okay? Wednesday is a total joy package okay it's very interesting to me how god in his amazing love and humor and sovereignty is sovereign over the names of the days of the week okay in english um even though if you study the history of the names of the week in english most of them apart from sunday and monday which are named after the sun and the moon actually come from the names of uh false gods, <laughs> okay, but the true God, okay, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost um, are sovereign over the spelling of letters and the ordering of letters, and um, so once you study enough of the English language and, and enough gematria in all languages, you know that joy is at the center of the heart of God and the whole story of God, okay, so O is at the center of the word story, that's 15, O is at the center of the word God and Jehovah, 15, 15. So at the center of the word Wednesday is five. And guess what? Wednesday is at the dead center of the week. Aha, and Wednesday adds perfectly to 100, which is double joy. And you can very easily split the letters Wednesday into those two fifties, joy, joy. But, and then if you, you know, if you study the pre-flood world, okay, before the flood of Noah, there was exactly 360 days in the year, exactly 30 days in each lunar month, okay? which would have pegged the dead center of the month as, of course, Mr. 15. Okay? So God is always putting joy at the dead center of everything that he structured in this universe. Okay? So, and if you want to get the science behind the fact that there used to be a perfect 30-day lunar month before the flood of Noah, creationscience.com will tell you why. Um, but, in short, okay, joy is at the center okay, of the heart of God, the, ma the major names of God, the major words of God. It's all using numbers. So now, Wednesday, the word Wednesday has a 5 at dead center, it adds to 100, double joy. So, and Wednesday is the dead center of the week, okay? When you, in, in calendars all over the world, okay? In the sovereignty of God, it starts with Sunday, that's the first day of the week. The traditional Sabbath is Saturday, the seventh day of the week. And the dead center of the week is Wednesday, okay? And once you know that joy is at the center of the heart of God and all the famous words of God and title, then you know that whenever you hit a Wednesday, just like the dead center of the month, which is the 15th, there's going to be a particular blessing of joy for that time, okay? Um, so, Wednesday, okay, the dead center of the week, joy. The Bible tells us to rejoice always. The word rejoice has an O at the dead center and divides by five, and I could keep going. Okay, so Wednesday, joy. It's the 12th day. 12, faith. 
Okay. It ends in faith mathematically. When you say a 12, oh, look at there is a 12. Now you've got double faith and the 12 apostles. The word apostle is double faith. Disciple is 77 divides by 11, the number of faith. I could go on. Okay. Um, there's detail. There's screaming details to every number in its name. Like 12 is father plus half a father. And so 12 appears on, on top of clocks and on the top of the, you know, yearly calendar and all the rest of it. There's a lot to each number. I'm just giving you my introductory comments. Okay. So Wednesday, joy, 12, faith, the number eight. Okay. Suggests a lot of things to my mind. Eight is love in Hebrew. Okay. And eight of course is oxygen scientifically. Um, and, um, I could go on, okay? But um, let's leave that for now. And then 2020, definitely joy, definitely faith. But definitely joy, because 5 is the number of joy, 2020 divides by 5. And um, faith as well, because it is a rep digit, like faith is 44, okay? But joy being the most prominent. I've been getting the joy message from God most strongly, okay? Um, more than any word and more than any number um, and more than any message in the past year, this year, it has been joy, joy, joy. It has been rejoice, 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 okay? So, um, but, um, yeah. Um, so God has screaming joy plans for me and for you and for the world. Rest assured of that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, this is great. I am so excited. Man, your life glorifies God and every date and time stamp references Jesus who is God in the flesh and so I'm so excited that this new all the videos that come off of this phone that I record with anywhere and everywhere I go are literally titled with the time stamp of when the recording began the year 2020 the month 08 uh, the day 12 and then the final six digits represent the hour the minutes and the seconds that the recording began at. So just so you know, um, when these videos, God willing, get made public on the internet, I'm just throwing them up there as conveniently as I can. And uh, it's all timestamp, okay? And every number glorifies Jesus. Every number glorifies God, who is Jesus. And every timestamp references God's visitation in the flesh, in the person of Jesus, who is the second member of the Trinity. So... I am so excited about numbers and words because they all belong to God and wow. So, um, I will, Wednesday the 12th, 08, 2020, Great Faith Day, uh, the 12th, 8, Love, Oxygen, 2020, definitely joy. Um, amazing, okay. Um, can you find joy in a pandemic? Yes. God uses everything, okay, uh, to bless his people and to glorify. Anyways, God's going to bring, let's not kid ourselves, most, I don't need to talk about this very long, because really, this too shall pass, okay? <laughs> it just, um, yeah, most of this is fake, most of this is unworthy of your, you know, serious consideration compared to other things to do in life. Um, so, um, excellent going to be an awesome day. I'm happy to be back in video. Amazing. Wednesday, a great joy package. So you rejoice every day because every day of the week ends in the word day, which is five followed by five times five. Okay. So Wednesday, and then slow down. Wednesday is a beautiful five, five package. Like wed knits together with Nez. It's got fives at the center of each trio. The WD is 27, knits together with the NS, which is 33 to make 60. Wed Nez adds perfectly to 70, and then day. So it's it's just it's staring you in the face. What are you commanded by God to do every single day? Rejoice, because the word day is five plus five times five, the number of joy. Done. Okay. Rejoice every day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Who gets the last letter on all of those statements? The great Y, which is five times five. And Y makes me think of the word, W-H-Y. And God is sovereign over that association. Okay, So why does everything exist? Well, for God's joy. 
because the letter Y is five times five, which is half a joy, and five is the number of joy. Why do you exist? For God's joy. Why, why is Wednesday called Wednesday ending in a Y? Because you're supposed to rejoice. Wednesday is for your joy, just like everything is for my joy, just like everything is for God's joy. That is the victory of the Christian. You are invincible. You are victorious over every demon and every evil in this world. That's why the Christian is free and commanded to rejoice maximally all day long. Okay, so um, just a good review. Preach that. Um, so rejoice every day. You know, every word divides by five and ends in a five. If you want, you can say holy party every day. And now you've said four words that divide by five that all end in Y. Okay, or party holy every day. Party pure every day. It can, it's just glory, but it's all joy, 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 okay? So, uh, you remember when you used to say in grade school, happy, happy, joy, joy? Well, it's actually true. Happy ends in Y, joy ends in Y, okay? So, why do you exist? Joy. So, the secret, I believe, or one of the secrets of God in this life is that if you... Um, you are a Christian, okay? You've confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord and you're not doing anything that is a sin, okay? You you literally, I believe, you choose your maximum known joy um, all the seconds of your existence, okay? Provided it's Holy Ghost approved, of course, and um, like holy joy, and um, God provides for you. That's, that's what I believe. Um, there you go. Rejoice today rejoice every day live a dream today that was a um there you can see that word up there that was a word i had from god on march 5th joy day live a dream today five letters five letters five letters with the e at dead center and the whole thing divides by five live a dream today and you can say i will live a dream today that adds five more letters that divide by five and you can say i will live a dream every day that adds five more letters that all divide by five so um, God said that to me one day as I was waiting on him, March 5th, 2020 of this year, day five, live a dream today. Okay. So, and I believe that that word is for every day of your existence. Okay. So, and then you can say this every morning, I will live a dream today and then go and do it. Whatever you've, um, always wanted, as long as you're a Christian, okay, you've been saved in Jesus name. Well, a part of God's dream for you today might be you, uh, breaking up with, just bad habits, just stuff that, um, you know, you, you just know you wanted to drop kick. Just do it today. Live that dream today. Um, it's amazing. God will lead you breath by breath today. Hallelujah. You don't have to know what a day may bring forth. In fact, that's the ecstasy with God. That's the excitement with God. Um, by way of analogy, uh, a pair of people in the flesh that are making love with each other uh, they don't have a plan for where they're going with it. They just live in the moment. Well, I believe that's very much what it's like to live in the spirit with God. Okay? Uh, you do not know what a day may bring forth. And that is for your ecstasy. That is for your highest romance and your highest joy and faith and pleasure with God. I don't know what the, the scroll of this day is going to completely unfurl with God and me, you know, together. But... I do know it's going to be awesome because God is awesome and I am free to live a joyful day today. And um, um, video is a part of my life at this present season um, because, yeah, I enjoy speaking stuff and whatever. But um, choose joy today. Um, these are words I've had from the Lord in my past. Um, Oh, baby, drink your God food, kids, um, okay? That is a key to your feeling joyful all day long. I'm not going to stop saying that because it's a total joy every day. You don't have to stop doing it. Why should you stop doing it? If, if, if the Lord leads you to do it, drink as much God food as you want 24-7. As long as the Holy Spirit is, um, you know, blessing you and doing it, then keep doing it. So live a dream today. Okay. Um, very awesome. It's awesome. Um, the joy in God is astronomical. Um, and the joy and the freedom in God that are coming to the whole human planet is also astronomical. 
And uh, the word freedom has a five at dead center, just like liberty, just like honesty, just like science, just like Langley Event Center, where I've done a lot of cocoa science, just like Willoughby Community Park, the other name of it, which has an O at the dead center. Um, so these are all words that I've had from the Lord that put joy at the dead center. Okay, so the joy of honesty, the joy of freedom, the joy of liberty, the joy of science. Um, and yeah, I've used a computer to spit out all the English words that have a five at dead center and have O's at dead center, and it's highly revealing. It's just like, you know, God has, once God tells you what the secret is and tells you, you know, that joy is at the dead center, it's like, come on, let's just unlock all the wisdom that he's embedded in every string in the history of the universe. Um, so, it's pretty cool. Um, so, um, choose joy today. Um, and let God surprise you moment by moment, okay? That's the way it works, okay? Um, that's the sacred dance. That's the sacred um, unfolding of your life by God's amazing hands. Glory to God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, it's going to be an awesome day because God is awesome. A word that I've had from the Lord multiple times in this journey is an honest day is an awesome day, okay? And that's just the truth. Um, that applies to everyone, but it particularly applies to um, a body scientist and someone who um, studies, you know, nutrition and the effects of cocoa on the body and all the rest of it, okay? Um, it is going to be a happy and purposeful day. The word purpose is pure fives, okay, um, pretty awesome, man, I'm excited, and I'm excited that I can uh, take this video camera everywhere I go, camera equals king, everything that God uses um, for his glory, okay, it's obvious that God has used cameras to um, spread his message, you know, like the Jesus film is the most shared video in the history of the universe, but camera equals king, okay, and so when you say the camera, that equals Jesus, Jesus equals the king, okay, the camera, another gem in the story of God that he uses for his glory, okay, and go ahead and solve anything and everything that God uses to bless people, that God uses to promote love, joy, faith, knowledge worldwide, um, most of all the gospel of Jesus Christ who is God in the flesh, uh, go ahead and analyze if you want, okay, any piece of the, the puzzle involved, technology pieces that God uses to um, um, spread his glory um, worldwide, okay? It's all about God's pleasure. That's the reason for all things. Um, and the greatest commandment, which is we should all love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. When we do that, um, and of course, secondly, we love our neighbor as ourselves, but the greatest commandment is by far the most important. When we do that, um, we bring God maximum pleasure, which is the fulfillment of our beings. There you go. Um, and then God is going to bless your socks off and he's going to surprise you um, with what he gives you because of how good he is and how superior he is in loving. If you think you're somewhat good at loving God and doing things for God, he's infinitely better at loving you and doing things for you. Just remember that. It's his glory. It's his pride, if you will, in the holy sense. And it is his nature. It is who he is. He will always be the best lover, the best giver, and the best surpriser of our souls in the highest, most pleasing ways that only he is capable of dreaming up. So let's all worship the Lord and give thanks to him right now for how genius he is. He is the king of ideas. He is the king of romance. He knows how to make you say, wow. He knows how to shock your pants off. And he knows how to do more for you and for everyone in this universe than they could ever dream. And that is his nature. Okay? So, 
<laughs> it's kind of like this lopsided competition. It's like we love God a little bit and we give him a little bit of something and then he like turns it around and gives us like a hundred times more. It's like a child trying to express some kind of love for their dad. It's like, you know, they draw this little like love cartoon or something and give it to their dad and say, here, daddy, I love you. And he's like, oh, that's very cute of you. And then he like responds with this like 1000 fold multiplication love um, impartation that the kids just like, okay, dad, you're like a thousand million times better at I am at loving people, including me. Um, so thanks. <laughs> you know, um, at, at the very least, uh, sometimes we should feel a little bit um, humble uh, about how our love for God is compared to his love for us. <laughs> but that's a joyful thing. Okay. So, um, expect God, uh, to lavish on you today. Okay. Um, that, that is, that is a sacred thing. You know, when just, when two lovers are in love, when they expect each other to do things for each other, there's a sacred, uh, love flow there. That's extremely pleasurable. Okay. So expect the Lord to love you like crazy today. The Bible calls this delight yourself in Jehovah and he will give you the desires of your heart. So go ahead and, um, choose your maximum joys today. Uh, feel the moment and, um, it will be an awesome day, but God will surprise you. God will love you and surprise you in ways today that you don't see in the morning. And that's the ecstasy of existence with God. The greater things that he has reserved that he's going to surprise you with. 